In this video, I'd like to explain what a Fisher projection is and the DNL designation that goes along with the Fisher projection. On the left here is a Lewis structure of a small sugar. The solid taper lines indicate that these two groups, the OH group and the H group, are coming out of the screen and coming towards you. These tapered lines, on the other hand, indicate that these two groups are going away from you or into the screen. To the right, here is a Fisher projection. The convention is it's simply a cross, and at the center of the cross is a carbon. And these two groups that are on the horizontal line are coming at you, and the groups on the vertical line are going away from you. The DNL convention relates to the hydroxide group on the second to the last carbon. This is the last carbon on the chain, and so look at the OH group connected to this carbon here, one away from the last one. If the OH group is on the right side of this vertical line, it's a D sugar. If it's on the left side, it's an L sugar. I'll provide some examples next. Here are some examples of D sugars. Here's the last carbon on the chain, and one up from that last carbon, you find that the OH is on the right side of the vertical line, so these turn out to be all D sugars. If they were L, the OH would be on the opposite side. Now this other information up here, tetroses and pentoses and hexoses, simply indicate the number of total carbons in the chain of the sugar. Tetra meaning four, there's one, two, three, four, and pent meaning five, one, two, three, four, five, and hex meaning six, one, two, three, four, five, six.